Here's the overall breakdown of Donald Trump's new proposed budget in a nutshell. Uh, as you can see, a 31% cut to the Environmental Protection Agency. That's what he wants. Well, that's uh, beyond disastrous. 29% cut to state and other international programs. 21% cut to the Department of Agriculture, 20% cut to the Department of Labor, 16% uh, to the Army Corps of Engineers, 16% uh, for Health and Human Services, 16% for Commerce, and then the increases, uh, Defense, of course, a 5% increase, Veterans Affairs, 6%, and Homeland Security, 7%. The only one that makes sense there is Veterans Affairs, that would be the VA. Everything else is just absolutely gratuitous. So, uh, this is what the Republicans want to do moving forward. People say that a budget is a moral document. It absolutely is, because it shows you what your priorities are. And basically, the priorities of the Trump administration are a lot more for military, even though we already have the largest military in human history, by far and away, we spend more on our military than the next nine other biggest militaries combined, but still, a lot more over there for the empire, for imperialism. What happened, Don? I thought you said you wanted to, you know, bring the troops home and rebuild infrastructure and stuff like that. <laughs> Forget that was all campaign rhetoric bullshit nonsense. More for that and less for virtually everything else. I couldn't even keep up with all the different articles from different outlets that came out where, you know, one would say the dramatic cuts to scientific research would cripple you know, um, the attempt to cure X disease. There were articles like that. Articles, of course, on Medicaid. We covered the story the other day. Even though Trump repeatedly said, I'm not going to cut uh, Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security. As part of this budget, it's an $800 billion cut to Medicaid. And that's on top of the $880 billion cut he wants in Trump Care, his Obamacare replacement bill. So he said, I'm not going to cut Medicaid. He wants to cut it over $1.6 trillion dollars a 1.6 trillion dollar lie he doesn't give a shit is yeah i don't whatever i don't care you can't trust anything i say and um it speaks for itself man a 31 percent cut to the epa yes that would mean the worst case scenario it's funny how like i always remember sean hannity likes to do this trick where he rails against the left for saying ah, they have no real arguments they just straw man us on the right as if we don't want clean water and clean air like of course we're in favor of that the net effect of a 31 percent cut to the already underfunded epa yes is not having clean water and not having clean air and not regulating properly and they already trump signed an executive order already that allows coal companies to dump waste into the waterways. So go talk to people in West Virginia and see how it's going. Paula Swearingen, who Justice Democrats are running against Joe Manchin, she talks about that all the time. She said, my, my water runs orange and purple and black. Are you going to tell me that, what, Republicans are for clean water? Well, they sure as hell aren't implementing it in terms of policy. They're doing the opposite. So, yes, that's what they want. They want... You have a guy who doesn't even believe in climate science who's the head of the EPA. And they're appointing industry... Uh, people who are from the industries they're supposed to be regulating to leadership roles within the EPA. So that's the fox guarding the hen house trick. Hey, to look after oil companies, let's put a former oil company executive. How's that sound? Yeah, I'm sure he's going to regulate them. No, he's going to let them get away with whatever the fuck they want to get away with. That's the way this works. So, uh, this is, again, worst case scenario. 20% cut to Department of Labor. I mean, Health and Human Services. If it's anything for poor people or middle class people, if we're talking about programs that are for regular people in the country, you're the ones who are getting, getting the axe. Whereas, if it's for the military and industrial complex... Of course, if it's for the rich and if it's for Wall Street, you get whatever you want. I mean, remember, Trump's uh, budget puts the Bush tax cuts on steroids because it goes right back to the Bush tax cut rates. And then on top of that, it eliminates the uh, estate tax. 
which they call the death tax, which only applies to like 0.01% of families, people who have fucking estates. It's over $5 million, I think. That's who the estate tax applies to. They say, yeah, let's stop taxing rich dead people. Let's cut taxes for Wall Street executives and the top 1%. And uh, at the same time, let's shift the burden onto middle class people and poor people and cut uh, government programs that are used to help poor people. And increase military spending, even though we have 800 military bases around the world right now, and it costs $100 billion a year to maintain it, and we have seven different interventions going on, and candidate Trump said, we're going to get out of those wars and rebuild here at home, redo the infrastructure. All lies. Nothing but lies. His budget proposal is just establishment Republican 101. This is the same kind of a budget you would have gotten from Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, or any of the other cretins who are there to serve corporate America. That is exactly what this is. Trump serves corporate America in the military-industrial complex. And again, the proof is in the numbers. You can see where they're, they're uh, moving the billions of dollars around to, and the answer is the military and taking it away from middle class and poor people.